Hello. Happy Saturday. This story is about a Jezebel. Do you all know any Jezebels? Well, this one has her eyes on what she thinks is a prize. This guy has the cars, the money. He's nice looking. A lot of ladies are after him. And Jezebel wants him. But you know, Jezebel, she's got about uh, two or three spare tires. But she has one that she wants to keep close to her. And he's a uh, Christian guy. He's crazy about her. He wants to marry her. And uh, he would give her the world. She seduces him into having sex with her because she thinks if she gets that hook on him that he's going to be there for her. You know, he takes her to the movies, out to eat, gives her money, all those things that she wants. But she doesn't really want him. She just knows he's a good thing. So this other guy with the cars and the cash, he's a businessman. You know, he... uh has his little drug business. He can have a lot of women. A lot of women will give him sex just to get drugs. But Jezebel makes sure she's always around. He rides up and down the street all day long, filling his prescriptions. Um, so she sees him at the car wash. He goes over to the car wash. She's like, hey. And she sees him um, at the restaurant. He's getting a sandwich. She pulls in there. She's like, hey, we got to quit meeting like this. You know, we should hook up. So they do. They hook up. They hook up, you know, several times. She decides she's going to trap him. She decides that she can take him away from all these other girls. She's got it going on like that. So, she decides she's going to trap him. Because she's just not getting the attention she wants. So, she pops up pregnant. She goes to him. She tells him she's pregnant. He's like, by who? She's like, by you. He's like, you ain't pregnant by me because I can't have kids. And she was like, don't do this. Don't do this. This is your baby. He says, you need to get rid of it. He tells her he'll give her half the money on an abortion. She's devastated. She didn't expect it to turn out this way. So she goes to that other guy, the Christian guy, the reliable guy. And she tells him, you know, I took a pregnancy test and it came up positive. I'm having your baby. He's like, how far along are you? She said about three months. He gets out his phone. <laughs> He's using his calculator. He's using his calendar. She's like, what are you doing? He said, I'm just checking to see when we were together. We were just together that one time. Oh, she starts bawling and crying, putting on this big performance. It's your baby. It's your baby. I haven't been with anybody else. Ooh. And he grabs her and he holds her and he's like, it's okay, it's okay. 
I'll take care of you and the baby. So, ladies, don't do this. Don't make these stupid mistakes. And don't prey on other people. I really hope that you learn something from this story. There's a lot of men out here that aren't going to take care of you and take care of your baby. They don't mind having fun making them, but they're not going to be there for you in the end. Take care. God bless.